We've got to embrace the more difficult things. We do the pretty things really, really well. You guys understand that? Film is a good teacher outside of basketball. It really is. Hello, Tiger fans. I'm Emily Dixon, and welcome to this week's episode of Inside LSU Basketball, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. The LSU men's team got back on the winning track with a win over Mississippi State in the midweek, and the LSU women's team forced another overtime in a season full of nail biters. But as we always do, let's start out with the voice of the Tigers, Chris Blair, and head coach Will Wade, as they break down the return of a key player and a big night on offense versus the Bulldogs. Inside LSU Basketball, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, is brought to you each week by the eight partners that represent Team LSU. Guts, the official communications provider of LSU Athletics. McDonald's, official sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Our Lady of the Lake, official healthcare provider of LSU Athletics. Planet Fitness, official gym partner of the LSU Tigers. Ross's Markets, Official Supermarket of LSU Athletics. Coca-Cola, official beverage partner of the LSU Tigers. People's Health, the official health plan of LSU Athletics. And by Hancock Whitney, the official bank of the LSU Tigers. This segment of Inside LSU Basketball is brought to you each week by Assurance Financial. Lending, the way home buyers prefer it. Welcome back, fans, to this week's show. Join once again with head coach Will Wade. Coach, what a win on Wednesday night in Starkville. Always a tough place to play. Mississippi State's been very good at home, but you guys may have played your most efficient game top to bottom on the year, certainly in conference play. Yeah, we played our most efficient offensive game for sure. All the assists, 22 assists on 38 made baskets. We were moving the ball, sharing the ball. Everybody got in the action. Everybody was touching the ball. We had some, we had some major contributors, obviously our four main guys. Did a tremendous job, all shot 50% or better from the field. Then we got some contributions from the bench. LeBlanc going four for four and scoring eight points. Andre Hyatt scoring seven points. A lot of those there at the beginning of the second half. Those were all um, critical, critical uh, points for us. And, and, and we made big shots. Javante made big shots. Dave made big shots. Cam made some huge shots. Got fouled to kind of put it out of reach when we got the uh, it got it up to 12 points there with a couple of minutes left. Watford made some big plays. So it's just an all-out, um, all-around team effort. There's some things we've got to clean up defensively. Our off as good as our offense was, it hid some of our some of our issues uh, defensively. But I was certainly proud of our effort, our connectedness, and um, you know I thought we did a good job battling on the backboards. We hit better than we've hit all season on the backboards. Now we still we still got to improve there and we've got to improve some of our rotations and communications defensively. But I thought it was a step forward and it showed a step um, towards what we can become and what we're hoping uh, to become. There's still time left yet and we want to want to keep moving in a positive direction. I think this game in Starkville is going to give us a little momentum and got a little wind behind our sails. A couple of things. One, you talked about rebounding. Again, Mississippi State, very good rebounding team. When you shoot as well as you guys did, uh, you don't get as many rebounding opportunities, but you didn't let that hurt you on either end, giving Mississippi State extra chances as well. Yeah, I thought, you know, Mississippi State, our goal for the game was to hold them under 40% of their offensive rebounding rate. We held them to 38, so we beat our goal uh, for, for the game, which was, which was, you know, which is a huge win for us. Uh, 40 now, that's a, that's a pretty high number. <laughs> Uh, you know, giving up four out of every ten misses the other team's getting is, is still a pretty high number. But uh, you know, I thought we, we we beat our goal and we did a we did a, a good enough job there and, and combine that with our efficiency on offense and how how good we were on offense. That was plenty to uh, to get the job done. Lastly, I know you said, hey, our guys are really good, deflective on defense. They get steals. They're one of the tops in the SEC. Sometimes we don't turn those into points. That was different Wednesday night. You you were able to do that. Yeah, our conversion was great. We we did a great job. Um, creating steals, forcing turnovers. Trendon had deflection. LeBlanc got the LeBlanc got the dunk. Uh, Gaines Gaines had a great steal where he poked it from behind on the scouting report, knowing DJ Stewart was going to put it back in his left hand, and he got to leak out and dunk. And then uh, we had a great pass to Javante in transition for a layup. Gaines threw it around the defender, so we were moving. I thought we used our speed, we used our quickness. We talked about sometimes it gets overlooked when you play big physical teams like State. 
you know, we have a quickness advantage. We got to use our quickness advantage and not let them just lean on us and, and really, really hurt us in the post. So I thought we used our quickness advantage. We were able to use our speed, get out in transition. I thought that was a huge key to the game for us. Well, it was an exciting night in Stark Vegas. Let's take a look at the highlights. LSU on the road, taking on Mississippi State. Tigers after the made free throw, a little zone press in the backcourt, and an errant pass deflected by Watford, and LeBlanc right down the runway, slams it down with authority. That will tie the game at 24-all. That's a pick six from LeBlanc. Big time. Here's Gaines handling the point, gets it to Days. He's open for three, late to close yes. out are the Bulldogs, and Days knocks down the triple. Darius Days now with six points. Tough bounce pass, going to be deflected in the lane, picked up by Gaines. Nice Ooh. bounce pass ahead to Javante, lays it up and in, and the Tigers lead 31-24. Here's Thomas, just fools the defense at the free throw line, steps to his right, goes up for a finger roll lay-in. Smart works the ball inbounds into the right corner. Thomas spinning left, spinning right, puts up a 19-footer right elbow, and it's good. Days gets the pass from Smart, and the three left of the arc is good. Watford on the dribble, curls around right at the free throw line, bounces the pass back out to Smart, open for three, and he drains it. Big time three, Smart has it right of the arc. Left hand dribble, back pedal between the leg, crossover. Flips the pass underneath, and up and under Andre Hyatt with the lay in. Here's Devon Smith, and cross-court pass taken away by Thomas. Thomas, one-on-one, -on -one goes up, fouled, layup, good! Count the basket, and one opportunity for Cam Thomas, who puts in his 15th point of the night. Inbounds it comes, Thomas. Thought he was going to shoot, drops it off to Smart underneath the basket. He'll fire it out to Darius Days, top of the key. Bonus ball is good. Smart crossover, backpedal, one foot jumper, good! Oh my, the 18 footer looked off balance, but Smart made it work. Smart across the timeline. Mississippi State back with numbers. Pass over the top, Thomas, deep three, good! And just like that, it's 78 70. What was a three point lead now is eight. High screen set by Tolu Smith. Here's Molinar, crossover, into the paint. Kick out Devon Smith. Smith back to the lane. Pass going to be stolen away. Josh LeBlanc on his own. Slams it down for his second jam of the ball game. It's 82-72. Tigers back up by double digits. Down to five on the shot clock. Little crossover. Smart lost his footing. With two on the shot clock, Thomas launches. Good! Triple is good, and Cam Thomas Makes it 88-75 right before the buzzer sounded. And the Tigers used the clock and got three points to boot. you love to play academy sports and outdoors makes it easier than ever to get what you need and have fun out there get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your academy store Protect your connected devices with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. To the people stepping up in the face of an unprecedented challenge, thank you for everything you're doing to serve our communities and keep us safe. To the people of Hancock Whitney, thanks for being the ones our clients can count on. Because even though it feels like everything has changed right now, it's reassuring to see that some things haven't. We'll get through this the same way we always do, together. We're born to be loud, born to be strong, born to work hard and tailgate harder. We're born to give it our all, on the field, in the stands, and beyond. We're born to be Tigers. We're the Tiger Athletic Foundation. Be part of the team behind the Tigers. Join today for better access and better perks. TAF, 
We're here for Tiger. Be there for them too. Annual membership starts at only $50. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Basketball is brought to you each week by our Lady of the Lake Children's Health, one of Louisiana's largest pediatric health care networks. As the number 16 Tennessee Volunteers travel over from Rocky Top to face your fighting Tigers of LSU. So find your favorite chair, grab your favorite beverage, time to boot up. The Tigers try to make it three in a row in this series over the balls. It's Tennessee, it's LSU, and it's coming up next on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Pass to Thomas, three ball, good! He got bumped, no whistle, but he'll take the triple. What a defensive stand for the Fighting Tigers. Here's Smart, crossover, to the layup, good! He took it off the rim on one end, down to the other rim on the other. Hyatt, he'll try the three, and it's his second bonus ball of the day. Goes to the basket, layup, good! Whistle and a foul! Hey now! Javante Smart taking over, he now has 17. Seconds roll off and the horn sounds. This one's in the books. Tigers win. Tigers win. They defeat Tennessee here at home by a final of 78 to 65. Former LSU basketball head coach John Brady is still on the sidelines for the Tigers, but now this time on the radio broadcast. And right across the court, we find one of his former players, Tasman Mitchell, also on the sidelines, but now he's a coach. From Daryl Mitchell's big shots to Tyrus Thomas's block parties and Big Baby's big energy, there were some memorable moments in that 2006 Final Four run 15 years ago. Here's a look back at all of those memories as the Final Four team was recognized during halftime of the Tennessee game, followed up by the Tigers' first volunteers' highlights. Over 80% of the city is one and a survivor score. To make magic, you must be patient. It doesn't happen overnight. It may appear spontaneous, but it's really years in the making. Magic is surprising. It's an inexact science and a delicate art. You never see it coming, but once it happens, Tigers win. you see the signs were always there, and you wonder how anyone could have missed them. You can try but you can't hold on to it. That's the beauty of magic. It's here, then it's gone. Just like that. On his own from way downtown. Loose ball. Tigers have it, and they're on their way to the Sweet 16. the Tigers. Thomas, nice pass underneath, wide open Darius Days. Ring set by Watford, down to three. Steps up, deep three, good! Javante Smart. Thomas, right baseline, cross court pass, left corner, Hyatt. Bonus ball, good! 
Tigers lead by five to Trendon. Trendon down the right lane. Pass to Thomas. Three ball. Good! He got bumped. No whistle, but he'll take the triple. Dan for the Fighting Tigers. Here's Smart. Crossover to the layup. Good! Baseline double team. Flips it out to Days. Open for three. Right of the arc. Good! Thomas. Catch and shoot three. Good! To Days. Top of the key. To the corner. Hyatt. He'll try the three, and it's his second bonus ball of the day. Seven to go. Cross-court pass. Thomas left corner. Driving down the baseline. Layup. Open. Go. Jordan James will give it off to Thomas. Today's rainbow three. Good. He's smart. Motors up the right sideline. Crossover. Got by Vescovi. Goes all the way to the rim. Shot off the glass and in. Plays off the screen from Days. Goes to the basket. Layup. Good. Whistle and a foul. Gets it to Thomas. Thomas drives. This time all the way in. Off the glass. And good. Blackford into the front court to Hyatt. Whips the ball underneath the Days. Gets under control and lays it up and in. You need more layers, diagonal layers. I gotta run, thanks. Leave him alone, Dad. Oh, honey, you should use ice blocks instead of cubes. No, no, Bud Light Seltzer goes on top. Diagonal layers. Did you peach out the Bud Light lemonade? Need more ice. In diagonal layers. I mean, if you're gonna do it right. I don't need my hands getting cold. Why don't you try using a Plumsky method? Brings out the citrus notes. Dad? You gotta crush the ice, son. Okay, I'm out. What's his problem? Wait, Whenever packing the cooler really, really, really matters, there's a Bud Light there. We get it. It feels like everything has changed. Masking up, changing demands at work, fewer gatherings. But one thing hasn't changed, our commitment to your health. It's why Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group keeps finding better ways to serve you. Video visits with one of our providers, online scheduling, weekend hours, and nearly 100 locations where providers know your medical history. Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group, providing you with the best care where and when you need it. In the truck game, greatness is defined by a relentless commitment to the customer. Forged over decades, built by a team resolute in helping you achieve your greatness. Experience this award-winning lineup today. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling truck for 44 years straight and counting. Drive the 2020 F-150 with 5,500 cash back. Only at your Southern Quality Ford dealer. When the ground shifts beneath you, you can run or you can stand firm. At LSU, our stand is rock solid. Our blood runs hot even as our heads stay cool. Because now is a pivotal moment in the fight for our future. And we refuse to back down when the world needs solutions. LSU, fierce for the future. We're born to be loud, born to be strong, born to work hard and tailgate harder. We're born to give it our all, on the field, in the stands, and beyond. We're born to be Tigers. We're the Tiger Athletic Foundation. Be part of the team behind the Tigers. Join today for better access and better perks. TAF, we're here for Tigers. Be there for them too. Annual membership starts at only $50. This segment of Inside LSU Basketball is brought to you each week by Bud Light. There's a Bud Light there. Welcome back to Inside LSU Basketball. Join now with head coach Nikki Fargus. Coach, Thursday night hard fought overtime battle against Florida. Kayla Pointer, 27 points, 18 coming in the second half. What else can you say about her at this point? Well, she did a really good job in the second half of just pushing tempo and attacking uh, the defense, playing downhill. Um, just playing aggressively. Uh, I thought in the second quarter, that's really where, to me, we struggled offensively, only scoring five points off of 17 possessions. And we just got to be more efficient. We got the ball to the right people. We had some good looks, um, and we got to knock them down. The thing about this team, though, is that when we decide that we're going to put four quarters together, <laughs> not three, not three and a half, when we decide to put four quarters together, we're going to be really, really good. So Faustina Fula, she registers her seventh double-double of the season. How was she able to be so effective, especially just from the start of the game? I thought Faustine did a nice job of uh, being uh, a scorer for us. She also is one of those players that defensively, she's going to clear a lot of boards for you. 
and she stayed on the offensive glass. Some of her action as far as scoring the basketball was not only her face-up game, but also her ability to get a couple of offensive putbacks. She had a big time play late in the fourth quarter at and one. Um, I thought that was huge for us as far as momentum. And we just need that type of efficiency from Faustine. Iowa tries to also score double digits for the fourth straight game. Now, uh, what has she worked on to improve uh, to really just, you know, kind of take her along to this point of the season? I think what's been um, better for Awa is that she's focused in on playing 15 feet and in um, as opposed to just living and dying by the three-point ball. And that's allowed her percentage to go up as far as field goal percentage. It's allowed her to get better looks and score the basketball. But it's also given us better rebounding because now we have her in a place in the area of the floor where she could go get some rebounds for us. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Now let's roll the tape. He's looking for a shot, but Afua's there. Six to shoot. Gets it to Smith. Smith falls down at the free throw line. Kicks it behind her toward half court, and that is a backcourt violation. And what smothering LSU defense. Dominique Davis will run the point here. She'll get it right side to Young, 18-footer, short, no good, but it's rebounded by Afua, who pops it up over the rim and in. Back out uh, left wing to Merritt, who will drive in the lane, had it knocked away by Young, who's got it. Young headed the other way left side, will stop and pop from 15 and hit it. Rickard's uh, trying to guard Pointer. Pointer goes down the left side of the lane, off balance, one-hander, a good shot from about seven. Down low, Afua. Afua has position. Shot fake. Turns. Five-footer easy up and in. Afua's got eight with four. Left wing pointer with two. With one, she has to take a three at the buzzer, and she hit it. Top of the key, Afua. Dribbles right side of the lane. Stops. Leans. Five-footer off the glass and in. Pass down low. Trossi turns. Fade. Six-footer. Good. Trossi, the fadeaway, has six points. Trossi, free throw line, jumper, good. She rattled it in. Sit up top, Briggs, guarded by Young. Briggs around Young, tries to drive on her. Runner is blocked by Afua, out of bounds. Pointer down the lane. Runner is good. That one will count, and she's fouled about an eight-footer by Pointer. Pointer will drive right side of the lane, turn around, bring it back out. Now then go down the baseline. Layup is good. Pointer around her man down the lane, running one-hander again is good, and LSU is seesawed back on top. Pointer wants to run, lob to Young into the front court right wing. Young down the lane around her man, layup is good. Top of the key, double team runs at her, so she finds Afua for an open layup that's good. Pass right wing is stolen by Young. Young is going to be a one-on-none to the bucket, layup is good. Young stepped in the passing lane and stole it. Young works her way left side, down the lane, to the bucket, layup is good. To the front court, Young. Young finds Pointer, baseline drive, layup good from the left side. Pointer, right wing. She's headed to the baseline. Runner is good, it counts and a foul. Pointer on the baseline, leaned in for about a seven footer. Bounce to Afua, right side of the lane, dribbles on Dute, layup is good by Afua, and she's fouled. Her free throw is no good, and Young rebounds. So it's still a three-point game. Up ahead to Pointer. She's racing to the basket. Layup is good to cut it to one, and LSU wants a timeout. all the ways you love to play. Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to get what you need and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. With no fees or minimums on checking and savings accounts, banking with Capital One is like the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Kind of like... It's looking kind of chilly out today. What am I going to wear? I think I'll go with a cardigan. Yep, even easier than that. And with a top-rated app that lets you deposit checks and transfer money anytime, anywhere, is it really even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? With a full range of BMW X vehicles available, no matter what adventure lies around the corner, there's an X for that.
Get exceptional offers from your Louisiana BMW Centers, the official luxury vehicle of LSU Athletics. When the ground shifts beneath you, you can run or you can stand firm. At LSU, our stand is rock solid. Our blood runs hot even as our heads stay cool. Because now is a pivotal moment in the fight for our future. And we refuse to back down when the world needs solutions. LSU, fierce for the future. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Basketball is brought to you each week by Academy Sports and Outdoors. With curbside pickup, it's never been easier to shop in store or online at academy.com. It was a tough loss for the Tigers earlier in the week, but that never give up attitude was embraced by senior Faustina Fua, who played more minutes on the court than any other player and recorded another double-double. For the Boston-born star who didn't pick up a basketball until the eighth grade in Georgia, Choosing LSU has been one of the best decisions of her life, and our university is better for it. I want to say thank you to Coach Nikki. Um, she's put up with me with a lot of things, uh, a lot of ups and downs, and she stuck with me. Um, I know it wasn't easy. She made me you know, become the woman I am today on and off the court. And she's definitely the first person I like to thank. Um, definitely want to thank my family. You know, Again, they put up with a lot of my craziness, and I know it wasn't easy, but they always stood by my side from, from day one. And lastly, my, my teammates, um, they pushed me through a lot of things and a lot of hard struggles that I've been through. Again, they were right there by my side, pushing me on and leading me to um, become a better person on and off the court. So without those three groups of people, um, I wouldn't be the boss team that I am today. Becoming a leader and leading a team is something new for me. Because um, coming in here, uh, my freshman year, I always had someone like Regine and Ayana. And you know, this year being kind of my team and I need to lead a team was something new for me. I had to adjust to over you know a couple of games and a couple of you know, like days going on and on. Um, and leading with Kayla, I know that was you know a biggest help for me and for both of us to lead. So I think that's the biggest thing that brought on my comfort zone. We know how much work we put in. I know every day in practice um, with Chris and I just love working out with these girls. You know, they mean so much to me and playing with them and just knows what I'm working for. It's more than just myself. It's the whole team. So I think that that became my favorite thing. You know, wins or losses, I love playing with them. And um, it's going to be hard to like move on and graduate and not be with them anymore, but I'm definitely going to cherish these moments now. The senior class has only a handful of games left in the purple and gold as they finish up the regular season. Up next, a road trip to Kentucky before returning home to host Arkansas in the PMAC. I'm Emily Dixon, and as always, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Inside LSU Basketball presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. We'll see you next week.